Ah, the fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it. One of my favorite times of year and a fantastic time to go thrifting. So let's go thrifting. Actually, I'm not wearing pants. I should probably put those on first. Uh, then we'll go thrifting. First up is a Goodwill that I haven't been to in a while, so it is time. Inside we have, oh, not the auction case. Well, thank goodness, at least at this one they seem to have gotten rid of the auctions and have replaced it with a case of just stuff for sale, like a bunch of comics for $100 and some books and records and dolls and books and tea sets. You know, not really stuff I'm interested in, but I am glad to see that it is not an auction anymore. I'm not a big fan of the in-store auctions because it's an annoying process and I never win. <laughs> What is this? It's a... <laughs> oh, that's a CPR doll, I believe. Uh, I was thinking it was something else. I was going to say that'd be quite odd. Uh, although it does have what appear to be real teeth. That's weird. Oh, over in the furniture here, we've got quite a nice picture frame. Yes, I'm not looking at the art. I'm looking at the frame. I used to be a picture framer by profession, so I see frames before art anymore. In the electronic doohickeys, we have a tack tell for when you need to tack but not tell. Yeah, I'm not finding much at this store. Uh, checking over in the CDs and whatnot. Oh, hey, okay, this is not expected. This is Kid Desk. Oh, man, I this is, oh, wh uh, weird early memories coming back from when I was like seven or eight years old. I learned my first curse word from this program. Um, I'm gonna have to do a video on this. This is like, this is really cool. I'm so happy to have found this, dude. Oh, man. All right, on to my former favorite Goodwill, because it sucks now. Okay, it doesn't suck that bad, but there's a bunch of cheap tat in here now. I mean, look at this. The friggin' ketchup bottle Halloween costume and, and a dog's uh, beer can costume? Rasta imposter? I don't even know what I'm looking at. Lots of Halloween stuff. Uh, you know, most of this store is now just clearanced out junk from Target, dollar stores. You know, I say this every episode, but I'm tired of seeing this stuff in what was formerly a really awesome store. Oh well, at least they have really, really hideous masks that are, like, hideous in, in just a bad way. Oh, I don't see this every day. This is one of those uh, spinny sort of computer monitors. You can make it go vertical and whatnot, and they are charging $200 for it. Uh, Hmm, Breeders' Cup World Thoroughbred Championships, formerly owned by the one and only Jesse Nay. I don't know, but this is a game by Bethesda. <laughs> yeah, Bethesda made a horse game. Uh, over in their case of stuff, we got uh, PS2 and GameCube and record player. Oh, this is Pioneer record player. It actually doesn't look too bad. Hmm, kind of tempting. I don't know. Oh, hey. Oh, is this a Sony Walkman? This is pretty friggin' fancy looking. Okay, alright, so not quite a Walkman. It's like a little personal recorder thing, and I'm breaking it. Uh, yeah. Just not Walkman branded. You know, I, I would love that instead. I am on the lookout for a nice early Walkman, but this is not it. I don't know why I'm tempted by these every single time. This is one of those little kids' computer laptop things, the teach and talk thing. It's got games built in and a f weird keyboard. What the heck? It's like a car stereo something with a touch screen. All right, it's a Philips model for a BMW. That kind of makes sense. Interesting though, I don't see too many uh, touch screen car stereos at Goodwill. Nor do I see many complete cash registers. I mean, seriously, this thing looks pretty functional actually. It's got all the keys, it's got paper, it's got all sorts of stuff, man. I, I don't know why 50 people haven't bought it already. Oh, more Sony tech. This just, it applies to my interests. <laughs> is that a phrase? I don't know. This is a portable uh, video cassette recorder. And it does things. Oh, it just looks neat. It just looks neat. Look at this. It's so neat. It's got all these buttons and displays. Mm, yes, and it's actually for Betamax, it appears. Oh, that is, it's really tempting. I, I just know that I, I don't know what to do with this thing. Gotta check out the puzzles and board games just in case. And, uh, well... You know what? I actually found a board game that I'm interested in and appears to be complete. This is Nintendo's Tetris board game by Milton Bradley. You can save $10 on Milton Bradley Nintendo cartridges. This is a friggin' board game of Tetris. This seems like a horrible idea. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is awful, but here it is. I, I must own it. It's a dollar. 
Uh, hey, it's one of these robotic dudes. These were like all popular and stuff five years ago or something like that. Now they're just sitting here at Goodwill. Nobody wants them. Kind of sad. These dudes had like personality or something. I don't know. Why did everybody want these? Just walk into another section of the store through the books and happen to see this hanging around on the end. Well, sweetness. All right, we got some uh, Half-Life owner's manuals for the games and expansions and Counter-Strike and whatnot. I, I already have these, but I didn't have this. The Prima Official Strategy Guide for Original Half-Life. Yes, I will take that. Why not? It's a quarter. Dude, what is this, a candle holder? No, no, this is a, <laughs> a texas size Pilsner glass. 50 ounces. Oh my word. Speaking of ounces, I need a coffee. I'm gonna go get an overpriced coffee, and we are gonna continue thrifting at another store. All right, on to my more recent favorite, Goodwill. Let's hope they have some good stuff. Right off the bat, there's something kind of different. This is an SD Organ Company portable air organ, from what I gather. They're charging $500 for this little thing. Uh, I think that's a little, little much. Online, it seems like they're maybe going for a third of that. Looks like their auction case is no longer an auction case either. It's now just stuff for sale. I got one of those uh, crappy Crosley portable turntables. $30, which is actually a pretty good price for one of those. They still sell these new for 100 or something, but no, these things suck. Over in the media and, uh, well, seems like somebody was not a fan of Spider-Man 3's bonus DVD. <laughs> That's a ton of them. Over in the tchotchke clock section, I found a tchotchke clock. Uh, it's kind of interesting, sort of. I kind of like something on it, almost. Ooh, I see calculators, and one that is particularly awesome looking aesthetically. This is a, a Sharp LC8101. Look at that display. Those are green tubes. They're like VFD tubes, uh, kind of like tiny little Nixie tubes. They're, they're, they're green, though, and they look awesome, and this thing powers up, and it works. Oh, this is cool. I am definitely getting this for my uh, growing calculator collection. Love the look of this thing. It's from around 1974, I believe, and uh, oh, yeah. Very cool. Goes for a lot more online, too. Oh, I'm gonna put my coffee down for this. What is this thing? It is... Okay. So we got a record player, a radio, solid state, and... Let's see, underneath here, we have an 8-track cartridge tape player. Ooh, a pretty beefy electrophonic system here. Oh, man, look at these things. <laughs> like ancient cell phones. Okay, well, actually, I thought these were really old cell phones by AT&T. These are actually, like, toys, or, like, radio, play, cell phones. Either way, they look like the phones from Strong Bad. Mm, computer speakers here, and oh my, these are Gateway 2000 speakers. Uh, if they weren't $7, I would definitely get them because I need some speakers for a couple of my Gateway systems. Uh, maybe check back here later, see if they've lowered in price. Not, not for me. That's not the kind of calculator I am into. However, I am into this kind of things. I've got a, a tape deck here, an Atari 1010 for the Atari 8-bit computer line. Ah, uh, you know, if it had the cables with it, I would definitely get it, but it doesn't. I already have one otherwise. Uh, so many cool older electrical things here. I've got an old Zenith solid state cassette player recorder. I love these buttons, that blue record button. The overall design of this thing, that, that case that it's in, super neat. I used to record on these things as a kid, make my own like cassette tape shows. And then there's this. Oh, General Electric clock. And it spins smoothly. Oh, it's got one of those. I, I like these a lot. And the wood grain. Oh, it's cheap, like as in cheaply made, but I don't care. I really want this. I, I, I gotta get it, right? I mean, I've gotta get it. I'm getting it. Oh, hey, well, this is pretty sweet. I've actually been wanting one of these. This is a, an Intellivision flashback. This is a tiny little Intellivision console. It's got all these games built in and stuff, but the controllers are actually like the real size and feel of the original ones. And you don't have any cartridges. Their games are all just in there, but you do have the overlays and they're just like recreated overlays. It's actually a pretty high quality little thing as far as the stuff that it comes with. Video quality, maybe not so much, but yeah, I'm definitely getting this. Oh man, I remember these things. Interactive human body. Interactive all sorts of things you could just stick into these. Uh, almost like the Geo Safaris actually, but this one I think maybe predated it a little bit. Either way, you could press stuff and it would like quiz you on, on body things. Eh, not gonna get it, it's just kind of nostalgic I guess. 
Over in the junk section, there's something that is decidedly not junk. We got Red Baron here for the PC. This is actually the VGA version of the game, I think. It's got the expansion discs and Mission Builder. Yeah, I already have this, but dude, really cool to see here in Goodwill, that is for sure. Oh, sweet, a copy of Air Warrior 2. I'm, I'm gonna get this because even though it's 10 bucks, a little bit much, uh, I'm not gonna get much better online. This is like an early online flight game. Think War Thunder, but for Windows 95. Not sure if you can play it online anymore, but it's really neat. Somebody's been unloading their flight sims over here. We got Flight Simulator 2002 Professional Edition. Again, already have it, don't need it. Seems the PC games are not over, man. This is exciting. We got Star Trek Judgment Rights over here. This is the limited edition, number 42,196. I, again, I already have this, and I think mine's even a lower number. It's kind of beat up in the back, too, but you don't see this very often. All right, I mean, of course, there had to be a missed box in here somewhere because, I mean, there always is, right? Uh, this is one of the later ones with the, the stickers and whatnot. Well, not the stickers even, but the, the little notice actually printed on there that this game has sold a bunch of copies. I don't care. These are later versions, and I've already got the earliest one anyway. But on the other hand, oh, we got King's Quest Seven in beautiful shape here. May not be the greatest game, but I know someone who's going to appreciate this a lot, so I'm getting it. Something I'm going to get for myself, though. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? The CD-ROM edition, the earlier uh, one of those it's got worldwide travel and all that stuff, lady. One, yeah, this is an awesome version of the game. It's very cool to find this in the box. Up at the front of the store, I found a bunch of PlayStation stuff that you know kind of caught my eye at first, but I got to looking beneath that and saw this bundle of cameras, a couple of them to looking really old. And oh, uh, you know what? Hmm, my brother's a camera collector. I'm gonna go see and uh, see what we got here. And here is the haul from episode 21 of Thrifts. Oh man, Thrifts is old enough to drink. That doesn't make sense. Uh, yeah, so this is uh, some games, board games, computer games, uh, computer game strategy guide. And uh, yes, I did check Tetris. All the pieces seem to be there. The Intellivision, it works wonderfully. It is it was brand new inside there. You can tell it had never been plugged up at all. Awesome little system to have. That kid desk, I am just so pleased to have that, dude. I've got some weird memories. I'm definitely doing a video on that. Probably next edutainment month or something. Hmm, sharp 70s calculator. <laughs> Cleaned up very nicely. And then there's these cameras. Really cool little things in here. We got a Konica EE Matic point and shoot from the uh, mid 60s, I believe. And also this awesome, like late mid 30s Kodak 616 Brownie, as well as a 40s model Brownie Reflex Synchro from Kodak. Just really cool old cameras. There, I hope my brother likes them. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. It's about his birthday. Uh, yeah, so he's getting these. <laughs> and then, uh, of course, we have my General Electric clock that's just amazing because of those smooth, rotating second hand right there and everything. Oh, this is a GE 7 4550, the original A model. This is uh, just neat. I like this thing a lot for some reason. And if you like this video a lot, or maybe even just a little bit, then maybe you'd like some of my others. It's a whole bunch of thrifts before this. More are incoming as I am able to make them. And, you know, all that subscribing stuff can be done if you would like to. There's also Twitter and Facebook and Patreon if you're into that stuff. And uh, also, thank you very much once again for sending in all of your incredibly cool finds. My word, you people and your IBM computer finds... I know I found one at Goodwill, but I, I can't believe others are also still finding old IBM PCs and similar awesome things at Goodwills all around the country. It's so cool to see this stuff. So thank you very much for sending it in. And as always, uh, all the interest in thrifts has been great. You people are rabid for this, which is awesome. I think so. Uh, my apologies. I can't get them out even quicker. It's just a matter of when I find stuff, then that's when I can make a video. But you know, that's how it goes. And as always, thank you very much for watching. <laughs>